The demo is about the new employee onboarding hub template in Shep from Shep on Lookbook. So first, what it is, um, it's a template, you know, it creates basically four sites. And as the name suggests, it is um, for uh, onboarding new employees before they join and after they join also. Uh, Lookbook provides inspiration to users, you know, organizations to create beautiful internet design starting point of set of templates. There are a bunch of templates available on Lookbook, which you should have a look if you have not uh, till now. Um, and why you should, uh, firstly, why create the wheel again? So portal which developers might take few months to create is now easily available at free of cost. So it's very uh, good templates, very well built and you can easily access them. It might not suffice all your needs, uh, but you know the requirements, uh, all your requirements, but it's a great starting point, I would say. And as you know, that employee onboarding is a critical process. So I think it's a good idea to have it if you don't have an onboarding process online, you know, and if you're already doing it in papers or something else. Uh, how? So basically, there is a user interface on the Lookbook site of uh, Microsoft where you can actually pick that in template and then, you know, install it. Otherwise, you can also use PowerShell if you are a tenant admin. Um, there is a the source code is available there and you can just use the connect pnp online to the and connect to your tenant and then use the apply pnp template from the path path actually so and what you get is the four side collections you know um so i can show you a video uh, with the partial thing so uh, you can see that i have uh, connected to the pnp online and then you know just uh, use the command and then it will do all the processing, you know. Um, yeah. And at the end, you will get. So at the end, you will get four different sites, you know. So let's go back to the slides now. Um, so now I will do a demo of all the four site collections on actual sites. So you can see that. So this is the onboarding page and you can see all the navigation are there on the top and also here. Um, and if you go to different pages, it will have different, you know, um, messaging things which you can have a look and you can also, of course, the point of having all this set is that you update it according to your needs. Basically, you need to update all the contacts or the checklist, which is here also. Uh, which is a list in the background, which can be edited. So this is how the, all the pages are created. You can see that if we go to the site contents, you see we have the new hire checklist, new hire questionnaire, uh, which is not used, but you can see in the site pages, we have a bunch of pages created, you know, uh, which are actually uh, tagged in all these uh, uh, menu items. So we have a pre onboarding site similar to this, which can be used for the uh, employees who have not joined yet. And where you can see the message from CEO this is another page created by default and you need to update it with your video, of course, and all the things which you want to have. So similarly, we have different, uh, you know, different pages of leadership, leadership team, uh, our values. So basically, you can imagine this is a typical, you know, onboarding process. Where you need to tell the a new employee what it is, uh, what how, what kind of a company we are, what are our values, and all. Uh, there are two sample uh, departmental onboarding sites also. Like one of them is engineering. So you can see that we have this here, um, similar to what we have seen before, and. Uh, just jump start or boarding workplace setup, deployment cycle, SPO backend knowledge, and all. So all these are customized, customizable, which you can do on your own. Um, so there are links uh, available in the sites also, which shows you know how and what to do. Also, so let's go back to the slides a bit now. So if you want to extend the templates, you can do that actually. Um, basically, as I said, the source code is available. Um, so what I did also for a test is that I did a small change and I added uh, extra navigation on the pre boarding site. It was not so difficult. You just need to update the XML file, which is there in the source code. 
and rest will be taken care if you just create a new uh, pnp file and then apply pnp template uh, command you know so let's have a quick look on the source code here also so i have this is in the visual studio code and you can see that i have opened the new new dot xml file which in which you can see that we have uh, different sets of things uh, already listed so we have the navigations you know uh, created here uh, themes so you can see that we have themes here uh, also and uh, similar to that we have the global navigation structure current navigation structure similar to that you can uh, they have added all the you know site assets like the uh, images they are using uh, where it is located and all the links and the pnp properties are added like this so imagine that you want to replace it, this with your images and with oh, uh, you can just you know change this xml file uh, with that and then it should work as i said i added a, a navigation link on our own and it worked so it, it is not that difficult to do so i'm not going to go in much detail the structure is very similar simple uh, the site assets have the four different folders for site pages and each page has its own folder and the uh, image file so you can follow the same structure and add different urls or different images for for yourself also okay um, the sharepoint lookbook provisioning service uh, source code is also available i'm not going to go deep in this i just want to mention that the provisioning service source code is also there. And uh, Paulo Pilos, it took a very good session in PNP virtual conference, which you should have a look if you haven't. And uh, that's talked about the architecture of custom Micro 365 solutions, in which he has actually he has explained the SharePoint lookbook provisioning service architecture. And it was quite interesting for me to understand how it internally works, which gives us a very good, you know, uh, understanding for us to create different architectures, you know, if you are going to create something similar to that or maybe a provisioning service for your for your own company so so that's a good thing to have references as i said though we have the template source code available lookbook provisioning service source code also uh, details of as i said in the slide it is there uh, customizing the instructions so there are instructions how to customize the site um, the new page as i mentioned and i have also written a blog about this which you can actually go and have a look also Thanks for joining me in today's presentation. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Kisley.